Hey everybody. Jim here. We talked about some classic German Down here at the gun range. Down here at the gun range. There's a my friend JB loaned me a few of his guns, like this broom handle, Mauser. I don't know how many of you have had a chance to see these. This one is one of the Red Nines. It was actually built in 1910, and then at the onset of World War I, the Russian Army bought up as many as they could, including this one. And then at the end of the First World War, per the Treaty of Versailles, this one, you might notice, has a 1920 stamped above the chamber. That means that it was reissued to police after the First World War. So this thing has led quite a life. That belongs to my good buddy, JB. Here's my 1918 Airford Luger. This one's fine, so we'll go shoot it. World War I, all matching numbers. One of my prized possessions. Hang on here. are made to be fired. Don't feel bad for it. It'll get a good cleaning when it gets home. My friend JB's B-38. This replaced the Luger F in World War II, 1938. Simpler, cheaper, easier to make. Still very effective. Fine example of German firearms engineering. Another Walter, the sweet little Model 9, the smallest commercially successful semi-automatic ever made. This one also belongs to my good buddy JB, he's gracious enough to loan it to me to make this video. I'll be gracious and not fire it. <laughs> and here's my little man pistol, this is the one I actually want to show you and talk about. Fritz Mann, his brother Otto, and his son Willie were all talented inventors. This gun was made between 1920 and 1921. They all were. Less than 20,000 made in those two years. They were made at the Fritz Mann Fine Machinen Waffen und Werkzeugfabrik in Seoul, Germany. 25 caliber, very rare, very expensive, little tiny gun. Let's take it over here and fire a shot with it. Fritz Mann, in an effort to reduce the weight of the breech block, this thing weighs about an ounce less than the Model 9, he put a, cha a groove inside the chamber that the, sw the upon firing the case swells into that groove, holding on to the case long enough for the bullet to be on its way. And thus he eliminated the, we the need for that heavy breech block. Instead there's a reciprocating bolt. Let me set this uh, camera down. Chamber around. I'll have to put a round in it. Just a second. 
know there's nothing worse than dead air. Get this round in there. Notice I pull the bolt back. Loaded. Wish I could find that case for you and show you how it swells. The little swollen mark in the middle. I'm not going to be able to find that shell. There's about a million of them out there on the floor. But that's it. The Fritz Man. Best pocket pistol, or as the Germans called them, pistolette. enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Check out my others. There will be others. They won't all deal with firearms. Some might deal with automotive upholstery. Thanks for your time. And thanks for watching.